Hey guys, welcome to FireSer Workshop and in today's video, I'm going to be performing the experiment number two for analog electronics fourth semester. That is the adder, the subtractor, or essentially the differential amplifier and the voltage follower. So these are the three circuits that we are going to be making in today's video. And I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can reconstruct those circuits in your AutoCAD. This video has been sponsored by Hacker Cybersecurity, the India's largest and cheapest cybersecurity program for students. More of that in a while. Hacker Cybersecurity has taken the most significant step towards providing superior education in the field of Android hacking, Windows hacking, Google hacking, WhatsApp hacking, bug bounty, deep web, dark web, Pinterest, and many more for an affordable price. They provide the greatest tools and resources to succeed in the field of cybersecurity as well as necessary knowledge to become cybersecurity specialists. It's not a typical cybersecurity program. This program ensures that you understand the concepts and learn the things as you complete the course. And not just complete the course for the sake of doing it. Without understanding or applying a single thing that has been taught. I hope this might ring some bells. They provide really high quality life classes which are one of the best in the industry. They give tests every weekend. Moreover, the certification would only be granted if you pass the exams. The recurring live doubt classes and 24-7 support makes this course the right choice for you. You'll be getting live projects with hands-on experience, starting at just rupees 5,000. The first 20 viewers who use the coupon code TRANA20 would get 20% off of the entire course. Link to their website has been provided in the description box below. So, what are you waiting for? Start your journey of learning with Hackers Cybersecurity now. Remember the code TRANA20 to get 20% off. Now let's just simulate the adder, subtractor and the voltage follower circuit on ORCAD. Now I'm just going to open up ORCAD CSA Capture. So again how to open this thing and all that stuff. So the, that has been like discussed in multiple of my videos. So you can just like refer to any of my videos. Now I'm just going to click on new project and then this is the directory in which the project is just going to be saved. So the first of all, I'm just going to be showing you how to make the adder. So this is the project name that I'm going to be, um, this is the name of the project that I'm going to be selecting. So just click on OK, create a blank project. OK. Now the blank project would be created. Now let's just import our operational amplifier. That's the LM741. OK. Now this is the one that we are going to be using. Here you go. This is the operational amplifier. Again, the power supplies I'm again going to be taking from the previous circuits. Now, if you don't know how to make this circuit and all, so just like refer to my previous videos, uh, you'll get an idea how exactly we are supposed to construct that circuit. Now I'm just going to be importing a few resistor R analog. So over here, we're just going to be placing two resistor or let's just say three resistor. Let's just place two resistors. Let's just make a two channel adder. And I'm just going to be placing one resistor right here. One resistor is just going to be acting as load. Click on the R key to rotate the resistor. Now I'm just going to be placing the ground. So that is the zeros EAPS5M. That is what we are going to be using. So one ground is just going to be placed right here. One ground is just going to be placed right there. And one ground is for the signal source. So that's it. Again, the VE, we are just going to be copy pasting. There you go. That's it. The VCC, we also need. So what we're going to be doing is now, again, we need the sign source as well. So I'm just going to be copy pasting the sign source from this particular, uh, this particular circuit page so that I don't have to set the parameters again and again, because I just hate that. Now this time we are just going to be requiring two signal sources. So I'm just going to copy paste it again. And there you go. There are the two signal sources. I'm just going to need another ground as well. And let's just wire up everything. This one will go right there. This to the ground. This to the resistor. This to the ground. These two together. And they will just together go towards the inverting terminal. And then the non-inverting terminal will be grounded. Now, again, this is the output, wire, W, mm, perfect. And there you go, the circuit has been completed. Now in this particular case, we're just gonna be using all 10K resistors because we want the gain of one. 
So in this particular case, this is just gonna add both the voltages. So the V3 and the V4 are just gonna be added up together and without any particular gain. So if you want any gain in the circuit, you can just adjust this resistor and these resistors R1, R2 and R3 can be adjusted accordingly. So let's just set the V4 and V3 voltages accordingly. So let's just set the V4 as 200 millivolts this time. So this will be, now this will be 100 millivolts, this will be 200 millivolts, both at the same frequency and the offset is just gonna be zero. Now the circuit has been completed now let's just simulate the circuit. Let's just create a simulation profile. Again, name it anything you want. Create. Again, now set the simulation parameters. Again, we're just gonna be simulating it for five milliseconds. And again, the step size of 0 0.001 milliseconds. Okay, and now simulate. I think everything is well and good in the circuit. So there you go. Now let's just add the voltage markers. Now this time what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to add the voltage markers over here. So this is the voltage marker for the input. Now I'm just going to go to plot and I'm just going to add another plotting window. Now this will be for the output now. Now for the output. Now what you have to do is now to add any plot in this particular output window, you have to just select this. If you're going to select this one, over here you can see SEL. So then the plot will be uh, made on this particular plot plotting window. Otherwise if you just select this one, then the plot will be created on this particular plotting window. Now let's just go back to ORCAD and let's just plot the output. And there you go. This is about 300 millivolts peak to peak. So there you go. Now this is like about 600 millivolts, I'm sorry. This is 600 millivolts peak to peak voltage. And this is essentially the sum of the V1, V2. So there you go, the circuit has been simulated. Now let's just move on to the differential amplifier or what we like to call it as a subtractor circuit. Now the differential amplifier is a really easy circuit and again I'm just going to be copy pasting a few stuff from the previous circuits. Again project new now this time I'm going to be naming it as subtractor. We're not going to be naming it as a differential amplifier because we are just going to be selecting a gain as one. That's why. So anyways let's just click on OK. Subtractor using op amps. Now OK. Create a blank project. OK. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be copy pasting a few stuff, for example, the power supply. This is the thing that we're going to be copy pasting in almost each and every circuit. Because the split power supply, we don't need to make again and again. It's already been made. And then I'm just going to be copy pasting this as well. This is the input section. This is all the kind of important. And obviously, it's just like time consuming to just like copy paste each and every component separately. And nothing else we can copy paste, so let's just import our operational amplifier, that's the LM324. Sorry, LM741, not the 324. The 324 is like a generic operational amplifier. LM3, sorry, LM741, 741. That's the op amp. So perfect. We have just imported the operational amplifier. And now we just want two resistors, our analog. This will be going right there. This will be going right there. And we need two more of these resistors. One for here and one for... Now I'm just going to press the R key to rotate the resistor. Now wire again. Now this will just be perfect. This has been wired up. This will go straight right here. This will go straight right there. Again the resistor values we people are just going to be changing. Sorry. This wire. Perfect. Wire can. This will just like go straight to the input. Output, I'm sorry. And again, we need another resistor for the load resistor. There you go. Wire. And we need a ground. And wire. There you go. So, and again, VCC, we're just going to be copy pasting and VE. So there you go. This circuit has, no, there's one more thing that's left. We need to ground this point right here as well. There you go. This has been grounded. Now this will be your 10K resistor. Mm, that will also be your 10K resistor. This will also be 10K. 
this will also be 10k so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be making the gain equal to one and now for this particular subroutine circuit now i also have made a few pcb designs and a few circuits now in real life so if you want to check them out so i'll just provide some links in the description box below so do check them out so these are like really good and if you want to make those circuits at home you can just follow those reference designs now what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be creating a new simulation profile now again, the difference is just going to be about one, uh, 100 millivolts. So let's just see, the output should be 100 millivolts. So let's go to piece files, new simulation profile. Again, just name it anything. Create. And let's just change the simulation parameters. This is going to be 5 milliseconds again. 0 0.0001 milliseconds. Apply. OK. And then we're just gonna be running the simulation. I think everything is fine in this circuit. Yeah, this is the circuit is perfect. Now, bam, there you go. It's just calculating. So actually I just like took the step sizes to be a like really small step sizes. So therefore it's just like taking a lot of time to calculate because it has to calculate the voltage values for each and every point in the simulation. And there you go simulation has been completed now voltage probe at the inputs again we're just going to be changing the plotting window so plot add plotting window now this is just going to be displaying your output and now let's just use our voltage marker again and this is going to be the output let's just see perfect see 100 millivolts so you see 200 millivolts peak to peak now this one is 400 millivolts this one is 200 millivolts so yeah the output is 200 millivolts so the simulation is perfect and our circuit is working perfectly fine let's just move on to the voltage follower and this is going to be the easiest circuit in the entire fourth semester now voltage follower i'm sorry just voltage follower again the piece pi is uh, analog or mixed 80 okay create a blank project now, as usual, I'm just going to be, again, copy-pasting the supply rails from here. Control-C, Control-V. Control and this time, the operational amplifier, I'm just going to be copy-pasting from this one right there. So the voltage follower is a really damn simple circuit. Now, there's, like, essentially, there's nothing to it. You don't need to. Now, wait for a second. We're just going to be copy-pasting this circuit. Yeah, this one is perfect. Control-C. And control V perfect okay now 100 millivolts is a perfect value now what we're gonna be doing is we just like don't need any of these components right here so what we need is just the wire getting connected to the output and that's it your circuit has been completed so this is how easy it is now let's just simulate the circuit now let's just go to new simulation anything you can just like give the name of the circuit as Again, change the parameters. This is just going to be 5 milliseconds. Again, 0 0.0001 milliseconds. And click on apply. OK. And there you go. Run the simulation. Now, let's just probe the input and the output. Now, this should be completely in phase. You can see right there. Both the input and the output are in phase. And this is essentially a voltage follower. Again, if you want to see them clearly, let's just add another plotting window to this one. Trace plot, sorry, add plot. And now on another plotting window, you can just visualize the same waveforms right there. There you go. The input is similar to the output. And therefore, all three of our circuits have been simulated successfully. And thanks for watching the video. And do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also do check out the sponsors for this channel. Because if you help my sponsors, it's just going to help the channel. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.